I want to catch you up on the latest developments in um, the 2.5 development branch of Kirimoto. The first thing is the device dialog has been totally redesigned. It uh, now allows easier editing of G-code segments and it has a device search which is pretty useful. Um, let's see. So that's the, uh, the small stuff. The big stuff is that for CNC mode, the milling operations are now all at the bottom here. The modifiers are on the right hand side, just like before. But when you want to go add a um, milling operation like roughing or outlining, you click it down here and then you can configure it at the bottom. And if you want to see what um, this is going to look like, you just click start. It's going to uh, generate the um, the uh, preview of that and then um, obviously preview does the uh, path routing and then animation if you want to go in and actually do the animation so um, that remains the same now the other thing that you can do down here is you can do um, reordering operations so you can uh, drag operations around the bottom this is going to be more important in the future and um, if you don't want to get rid of uh, an operation just click on the X and it's gone um, now preferences are stored from the last time you edit something so if the last time you edit a roughing operation the new operation that comes in is going to be the same as the last one that was edited or deleted um, that's the way of pre preserving continuity um, and then the library saves everything at the bottom um, into a named um, grouping so that'll also be useful for a future with double-sided milling the thing I want to show you is tracing which is um, uh, the newest feature which has got a new feature here called clear the default was follow in the past um, and so if you wanted to do something like have um, a taper mill or something like that you could um, click on a ball say a ball eighth or some ball quarter and uh, select like an area like this and uh, that allows you to do a clean sort of ball mill so let's animate that real fast and go through this and you'll see that that is the way you're going to accomplish um, these types of features which are really difficult to do with just roughing or outlining it's very precise um, and then if you want to add another uh, trace you can go in and do that and then let's say we um, choose a taper mill for that and uh, we'll also make this follow and we'll follow like these two features here and um, when we animate that we'll see that that is how we <clears throat> uh, do things like chamfered edges and things like that so this is good for engraving and lettering but you know using the synthesize part here it just shows you um, sort of how that comes out so this isn't actually how you would do it but just to show you how these features work now um, a new feature of tracing uh, is clear and I want to show you how that works. I'm going to use the, the back side of this part to, to do that. Let's create a new trace operation. And so the way tracing works, with, I'm sorry, where clear works is it allows you to clear an area like a flat. And so if I click, for example, on this area here and then um, I generate it, uh, you'll see that it clears that area. Now, what's more interesting about this is that you can do Boolean operations with uh, the, so if I click on this uh, and here, for example, and then I generate it, you'll see that it does offsets. So it's much more obvious if I use like a, a 16th um, and generate it. And you'll see that you can clear areas uh, with um, Boolean polygons. And so that's really super useful. Um, and instead of in the past where you might have a clearing operation through roughing, and then you <clears throat> have these unresolved flat areas. In the past, what you would do is you would say clear faces and that would generate additional passes, but that might be inefficient for your part. And so the, the future way of doing this instead of clear faces might be to use um, a trace clear where you go in and you select an area, a very specific area that you want to clear. And then you can Boolean out areas where you don't want it to clear and then when you generate that, it'll actually, wait, let me remove this. Then it'll actually just clear just that flat area down in there. So um, these are the primary new features. The, the fact that you have operations at the bottom, the new dialog for, uh, for devices. And I hope you find this really useful. Um, more great stuff is coming, especially in CNC world for double-sided parts. I'm going to have some videos on how to do that in the future. So happy new year. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you on the forums. Look forward to your feedback. Have a good one.